Oh, hey, happy Stranger Things Day. So I thought in order, in order, in, in order, in honor of Stranger Things Day, I'd show you how to do that cool chapter title flow through the screen thing. Actually, not just show it to you. I'm, I'm going to give it to you as a free thing you can download and tweak on your own. We're going to do that. And I also, I might throw in some what's. We'll see. But first, I want to show you how to use this chapter thing so uh, you can make your film start looking strange. Let's get into it. <sighs> okay, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is install the fonts and the title pack itself. Now, don't worry if you don't know how to do that. When you download the Dusty Buns pack, yes, I'm calling it the Dusty Buns pack. When you download the Dusty Buns pack, I have instructions with video instructions on how to install all of that stuff so you can get started. So once you have all that installed, now we can start playing around with this title. All right, so now you have everything set up. Let's get strange. So what we're gonna do is go up here to our titles and you see we have our lovely Dusty Buns category. You're welcome. So we're gonna drag our title down onto our clip. Now we see we have, hi Dusty Buns, but it's not really doing anything. It's just some text. Although it looks cool, it's just some text. So here's how we're going to make it change colors and animate it a bit. So we're gonna go down to our generators and we're going to find a solid generator so i'm going to take the solid and i'm going to bring it down into the front of our clip now that we have this here we can drag our title over on top of it and you see that's looking a little more stranger thingsy but it's still not doing anything so let's make that work so we're going to take our playhead over to the beginning of the clip make sure that the title is highlighted and we're going to go up to the top right hand corner and we're gonna click on the T if that is not already clicked for you. And you can see we have a few things going on here. There's not much to deal with and I've put it that way purposely. This way you can focus on nothing but making the text fly through without having to get confused with all of the other parameters. So here's how we're gonna make it move. First thing we need to do is click this little plus box that's gonna start a keyframe. <gasps> keyframes, I know, everyone freaks out when you start doing keyframes, because with good reason, keyframes are, well, they're a pain in the ass. But I promise you, this is the only time you're gonna have to click that little box. So we click the little box there. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your playhead and move it to the end of the text title. Now we're going back up to the right-hand corner to our little XYZ panel there, and we're gonna click on the Z number, and we're just gonna scrub up got my finger on the mouse just just flicking just flicking you can see this is flying through it's gonna be the same thing if you have a trackpad the thing you're doing is you're raising the number of that z position and you can see that's causing this to fly through and you're gonna go all the way until it's gone you don't see it anymore so now i'm gonna go back to the beginning of the clip and hit the space bar and Pretty cool, right? So now we need to do the color transitions. And you notice when you're watching the show, the letters start off red and they briefly fade to white and then you start to be able to see through them very quickly to see the video clip behind the letters. So to do this, we're going to go back down to our generator and we're going to kind of scrub through where we might think that the colors were gonna start changing. So this is where I'm actually gonna cut my generator right there, so make it two. Now the first one, I'm going to keep this red color. Now the next one, we are going to change to white. Now, what we're going to do is add a cross dissolve so we can fade into these colors. This is the easiest way to make this happen. So I'm gonna add my cross dissolve to this red and white, and I'm also gonna add the cross dissolve to the white and the video clip. So now we have a fade, nice. And then we have a fade here, nice. Now obviously there's still a lot of work left to do to this. So we're gonna select our title again. Now we're gonna go back up to the little video clip up here. We're gonna go to our blend mode, scroll all the way down here to stencil alpha. Click that, now we can go back. Pretty cool, right? So now the only thing left to do is to just adjust the color generators and the cross dissolve to get everything smooth and the timing just right of the color changes. So I'm gonna do mine here and let's see what we got. Hit my space bar and... <laughs> now 
Now, the only thing missing is some cool music and sound effects. Now, I can't give you the music, but I can, can give you some sound effects, which you've probably already noticed were in the Dusty Pack when you downloaded them. And, um, all right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Happy Stranger Things Day. Of course, you know, you like this, you know what to do. Subscribe, bell, all that stuff. But more importantly, go make some cool stuff. All right.